Compacted soil in houseplants. Methods of aerating to fix it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The lightweight, airy volcanic rock helps aerate the soil and improve drainage. Styrofoam is often substituted for perlite in potting mixes, but it does not act as an aerator. There are many ways to improve your plant soil, such as adding perlite, perlite mixes, and even vermicompost, which contain real live earthworms. Here's a step-by-step -step method for easily aerating your indoor plant's potting soil. The chopstick method is arguably the easiest method to aerate your plant soil by simply using chopsticks or similar instruments. Step 1. Poke the chopstick from top to bottom into the soil. Please be cautious of the roots as you poke down into the soil from which they're attached. Step 2. Water your houseplant, focusing specifically on the chopsticks you use to make openings in the drainage holes. Step 3. Repeat step 1 until the water drains in the hole at the bottom of the container, if you need to. How to aerate your plant by adding more aerating materials. Step 1. You will need one part potting soil, one part vermiculite or perlite, and one part sphagnum moss to make your soil mix. Step 2. Add the soil mix to the pot. Step 3. Make sure you water it enough so the new soil is moist but not soggy, otherwise it won't drain as well as it should. How to aerate your plant by making vermicompost. Step 1. Collect ingredients for your compost pile. You need compost ingredients the worms can process quickly. Step 2. The container you use for your materials should measure 24 inches by 18 inches by 8 inches and be between 5 and 10 gallons. Step 3. Take care of the earthworms. The worms can be bought online or at your local fishing equipment store. Step 4. Your composting container will be ready once your worms are ready. Let the worms do their thing and wait.